focus right now on your most important outcome, which is money in the bank. Hello, I'm Bernadette Doyle. And in this episode of Bernadette TV, we're focusing on what do you need to focus on to get money in the bank? Good question, hey? Well, this question actually came from Trish. Uh, and Trish posted this question on my Facebook page and she said, can you please give me a step by step guide to what I need to do in order to get my first payment from a client or customer in the bank? And first of all, Trish, I have to say you're a woman after my own heart because you are focusing on what I think is the most important part in any business, the place where money changes hands. And you might say, well, that's obvious. That's key. It's not obvious to so many people who are doing a lot of what I call creative avoidance. They're doing anything and everything. They're doing things that they hope will translate into money in the bank. So I need to grow my Instagram following or I need to grow my likes on my Facebook page or I need to create a webinar or I need to start a YouTube channel. And there's lots of stuff that you can add to your to-do list in the hope that it will put money in the bank. But that's not good enough for me. So my attitude to goals and outcomes has always been this. It's like if you know that your desired end result is money in the bank from my first client, what are the steps to get there? And the best way that I know to figure this out is to reverse engineer. So it's like as Stephen Covey would said, you begin with the end in mind. So if we're now at the end point of money is in the bank, what are the steps that have had to happen to lead until that point? So to get paid, you're probably going to have to have some interaction with a customer. And when you're starting out, the best way to do this is through um, face to face, in person conversation, what we around here called sales conversations. Can you sell from a web page? Yes, you can. But you're going to find that your conversion rates, if you have a one to one conversation, that doesn't have to be in person. It could be done over Skype or it could be done on the telephone. Your conversion rates could be anything between 30 and 80 percent from having an in-person conversation. So whereas a website and setting up a whole e-commerce platform could take a fair bit of time and energy and money, it doesn't take a lot of effort to have sales conversations. So that's, you know, the, the last step. So what's the step before that? If you're going to have sales conversations, how do you get those sales conversations? Well, you could go and create a lead magnet and set up a uh, a funnel and a funnel ad, an ad funnel on Facebook and have people download your lead magnet and invite those people to a sales conversation. But again, that's a lot of work. And it may be that already just in your own warm network, you have people who could be ideal clients for what it is that you want to offer. So I would suggest that instead of going and creating a whole funnel that again takes time, energy and money, why not do what you can with what you've got where you at? This is Bernadette's motto for life. So you, just by reaching out or making a list of people you already know or people that you're connected with, that could be how you secure your very first sales conversations. Because bear in mind, even if you get a one in three conversion to, from conversation to sale, that means you only need three conversations to get your first paying client. Mm -hmm. Excited now. So it's not like you have to overcomplicate this. You're so right, Trish, to focus on the point where money changes hands. And now let's just clear on the only get clear on the only things that you need to do to make that happen. So what else are you going to need in order to have those sales conversations? Well, you're going to need to have an offer. <laughs> you're going to need to have something that you're promising to do or deliver to the customer or client in exchange for them paying you money. So that's something else that you're going to have to figure out. How do you figure that out? Well, the best thing is to figure out the problems that people already have that they would pay to solve. And there's more that I could say on this in more detail than I can go into or will go into on this video. But do know if you check out my other videos, on my YouTube channel, you will see where I've talked about this um, in several other videos. And we've put some links to those videos below as well. So you need to get clear on what your offer is. You need to make sure that your price is right. But pretty much that's all you need in place. So if you want to have money in the bank, you need to focus on having sales conversations. And if you want to have sales conversations, you need to generate those sales conversations and you need to have something to offer on those sales conversations. You focus on those three things and eliminate all the other stuff that's distracting you. So everything else you're hearing that I need to grow my list, I need to have a lead magnet, 
I need to have Facebook ads. I need to have a funnel. Yeah, you may need all of that stuff eventually, but that will come along in good time. Focus right now on your most important outcome, which is money in the bank. Now, if you want to know more about this, I've actually done a special training called Get Playing Clients Now. We'll also include a link to how to join us for that at the end of this video. So I hope that helped you and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV. Hello. You. Yes, you. Yes, you. If you like my mummy's videos, my mummy is Bernadette Doyle, by the way, you need to hit the subscribe button or the like button. It would be very appreciated. Bye!